Hallelujah. God bless you in Jesus' name. Uh, Psalms 101 verse 3 says, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. I just want to talk a little bit about that. I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. Um, it is... We, um... Talk about setting any wicked before our eyes. And David talking there. He was King David. And he said, I was said nothing wicked before my eyes. Uh, one of the things that. Uh, yeah, it's not going fast either. <laughs> um. Is that what we look with our eyes and what we set it on is um he enters right our eyes we cause all the information around us he enters the eye the Bible says that the eyes the window to our souls right. It said the eyes be dark, the whole body is dark. How great is that darkness? And so then when we set our eyes before wicked things, then um, it operates. It operates in our minds, operates, you know, in our hearts. And, and, and it becomes a, a bondage of sin. We become a slave to sin because we set our eyes in things which do not edify. It does not bring us to holiness and righteousness. It is you no know, beneficial for us. And so we got to clean out. We got to clean out you know, what's before us. Um, when things start to get into our eyes and we realize that um the movement, a great movement is happening, and it's not a great move, it's a wicked movement. And we understand that that the the Bible talks about um that that it will be like the days of Sodom and Gomorrah, right? The Bible go further into saying that that evil will be called good and good evil and so they use television right they start to um, send information through television when we set our eyes on wicked things and then we become the we end up being under that bondage of of, of sin a uh, bondage of fornication, lust, adultery, and we had to turn off any wickedness. We turn off while tries to get in in our eyes. And so then David said, Now, I was not said no wicked before my eyes. And then we see the fall of King David. And when he looked upon a woman, he lusted after a married woman. And, and, and he ended up laying with her. And uh, she ended up getting pregnant. Eventually, you know, as the years passed, his sons ended up, end up having his sons, you know, kids with her. I believe I forgot her name. I don't know if it's back or. Yeah, I mean. But um he looked with his eye and lusted and committed adultery and he entered into him because he set wickedness before his eyes. And we see that um we see that praise Jesus that he affected Know, spiritually affected him it was to the point where his bones fell as though they were going to break. His bones fell waxed. 
old and he felt the destruction. He felt the hands of God was on top of him and and so then he felt the wrath of God. He felt for what he has put before his eyes, right? And that's why he said, I will not say no wicked thing because we know the the consequences there is and the penalty we have to pay for what we have set before us. And it has broken the commandments of God. And some of these things we become end up becoming a slave of sin. I would say you are a slave to which you obey, which is sin leading to death or leading to leading to righteousness. So we understand that the wages of sin is death. So we all gotta pay you know death. We end up paying with death, right? The sins that we commit. But we pass from death to life. And so then we gotta remove, take out, start setting our eyes above on eternity. Look for that which is above, seeking first the kingdom of heaven, and and and, and start seeking His word. Start looking into His word and. And dress up in righteousness, and so then you can, you know, have, you know, that spirit of discernment. You can see with spiritual eyes because what 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 the enemy wants to do, he wants to bring you in and blindfold you with a with a false narrative. He wants to blindfold you with with. With corruptible things in your life. And we got to, you know, take the broom and sweep it out. And, and, you know, put on the foot armor of God. And put on uh, spiritual eyes. And, and see what is right and wrong. What's set before my eyes that's not going to condemn me. And when we begin to do research and study, so you can find yourself approval, and we be able to take this stuff out of our life and start putting what pleases God. I was set no thing, no wicked things before my eyes, because the window to our soul is a window into our life. And when we set things before our own eyes. What's going to enter into your eyes? Wicked things. No, we don't want no wicked things. We got to rebuke in Jesus' name and have the light of the gospel before us and, and do what's right before the Holy God in, in Jesus' name. And that's the message I want to just bring to you today is that you got to uh, own focus on what's not right and focus what is right. Focus, take out any wicked stuff before your eyes and say, Lord Jesus, direct my path. Direct my path. Show me what is right and wrong. That's it. There are not no um, wicked things before my eyes, but I want to see what's right. I have no, the conviction of the Holy Spirit. So God bless you in Jesus' name. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Right.